Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you can see, I'm in a different place with a person. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Who person. are you? Can you introduce yourself? I am Fian, I'm Flora's boyfriend, and I'm being dragged out on a long run today. Woohoo! We are going on a long run. We were going to do Bristol to Bath, but we can't figure out a way to make it easy because we're like a little bit outside the centre of Bristol, and that's where it goes to and from. So we're having a look at some other routes at the moment, and um, we're going to figure out where we're going to go. How far are we going to do today? We were going to do 16 miles, but that suddenly sounds like a lot now. <laughs> Maybe 20k? <laughs> Maybe, okay, 20k. Let's say 20k. It's not oh, awful. Half marathon. So yeah, we're going to do that and going to be answering some of your questions along the way that you've sent over via Instagram. I hope you enjoy it. We have not trained specifically for this, but we've been doing lots of runs down in Dorset. This is training. Um, this, Oh yeah, this is the training. And if you haven't watched my latest vlog, go and check out that one. Not him. Don't, Don't check out that one. Well, you're not do. allowed. No, you're not allowed. Yeah, check out my Instagram. <laughs> oh yeah, check out his Instagram at fms.fossils. Get some free advertising. Good plug in there. But yeah, check out the other vlog as well because it is explaining what I'm getting up to, uh, what we're both getting up to in the next year in terms of races. And there are some crazy ones in there. Which one's the one that you're looking forward to the most? Or not dreading the least? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Dreading the least. Dreading, dreading the, the least. least. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. The Ultra sounds quite fun. <laughs> quite fun. Quite fun. Yeah, I think But that's... only because we've got two days to do it in. Yeah. If That's it was true. one day, that'd be awful. Yeah, it will be awful. I mean, fun. Anyway, we're just gonna sit here and get some breakfast and then head off after we've digested that. Some of you were asking how we plan our routes um, for trail runs and all that kind of stuff. And the answer is we make it up. There's a lot of trial and error. So for example, today we were gonna run to Bath, but the Bath path is a long way from here. So we'd end up running like 18 plus miles just to get there. And then obviously have to get the train back and then walk from the city center to here. So that doesn't make any sense. So we're trying to go somewhere else that we already know. So it's probably likely to be around the park up there. But yeah, we kind of know various routes well, and then we'll We'll just do something around what we already know but yeah the, uh, initially like in new places there is a lot of trial and error so we're just about to head out we've decided to go um, and drive somewhere so that we do the whole course off-road it's not the Bristol to Bath one it is um, along the river path here which is one of the flatter routes and then you go up through Lee Woods which is um, a really beautiful part of Bristol which I absolutely love and we used to run that all the time I am freezing so I'm gonna be wearing this until uh, we get out of the car for as late as possible because as soon as you like well, when you start running it's obviously quite cold because you don't want to be wearing all of the clothes but I've got this on and then I've got kind of thick base layery well mid layer type thing and then I've got a waterproof as well a kind of like ear warmer thing and some gloves all of the clothes <laughs> okay so we are on our way to the downs I've got fear next to me driving me very uh reluctant chauffeur. So I'm going to answer some of your questions that you asked. One of them was about plant-based diet and fitness and how do I deal with the kind of stigma around it. So Fian here is mostly vegan as well. He does eat eggs from time to time but otherwise is vegan. My advice is just by showing people. Uh, there's no better experiment than kind of on yourself and if I, I mean, I just feel like I've kind of proved to myself, but also then I guess to anyone who's watching, that a plant-based diet is fine, good, even for uh, fitness. I feel like I'm at the fittest that I've been, this last year probably has been the fittest I've been ever in my entire life. And I've been uh, eating a plant-based diet for about two years now. What do you think, Fee? I agree. I'm also undoubtedly the fittest I've ever been in my life, which is handy because I also happen to be the oldest I've ever been in my life. <laughs> which, unlike me. Unlike you. Yeah, you're the youngest you've ever been. Yeah. You know, I'm well into my 30s now and you're supposed to be generally declining in health and fitness by that point, if you believe uh, stereotypes. But personally i'm getting fitter and fitter and since becoming a mostly vegan i am certainly much fitter than i ever was as a meat eater or a dairy eater mm -hmm. and i don't think that's a coincidence a lot of people struggle because they're like oh i don't want to go plant-based in case it 
has a negative impact and it's like well you don't have to go a you don't have to go all plant-based at once so you can do bits and bobs like I was pescatarian for 18 years before I went plant-based and you can do the same or just like make small changes or change it on certain days of the week it's all good it all makes a difference and then again like once you've made that decision it doesn't have to be permanent obviously in terms of environmentally it's beneficial if it is but if it really isn't working out for you and if you end up being ill or whatever I guess figure out what could be going wrong but if it really doesn't work that that's not a decision you have to stick with forever it's just like making the effort to try is a good idea in my opinion would you agree yes wholeheartedly and it's one of those things that seems daunting until you actually do it and yeah when I agree you, you know stop eating meat or cut it down or whatever and do it for a couple of weeks and you turn around and think oh hang on that's not difficult at all yeah it's not like my life is suddenly lacking something hugely because I'm not eating meat every day it's a very small insignificant thing mm. in the grand scheme of things but it makes a major difference to the world and hopefully to your own health as well so I was also thinking I think if there are any guys watching they might be interested in how you get enough protein that's obviously a question that all of us hear a lot <laughs> do you have anything to say about that yeah well I'm naturally not of a muscly physique my natural physique is very skinny so i struggle to put on muscle anyway and i actually struggled more as a meat eater to put on muscle than i do as a vegan now i'm about four kilos heavier as a vegan than i ever was as a meat eater and it's kind of a common misconception with a lot of guys that you need to just constantly eat protein to gain muscle mass most of it you know if you sit there and have protein supplements and eat a burger for every meal and two chicken breasts blah 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 your body's not going to use most of that protein because it's more it's above and beyond what your body needs mm -hmm. um and i find i get most of my protein now from nuts pretty much my own body weight in peanuts and peanut butter. <laughs> this <laughs> evidence yep, that <laughs> that's all gone almost that gives me more than enough protein, personally, with um, a balanced diet of vegetables, beans, um, lentils, etc., etc. Yeah. Um, and that gives me more than enough protein than that my body needs for my level of exercise. Yes, so. I, I also think that people are so worried about getting enough protein that maybe they're not focusing on things that are really important, which is like just eating a wide variety of foods, and that will do it for you basically. Like I've not struggled at all to get enough protein and we both had our bloods done the other day and both of us have come out basically super healthy healthier than i've ever been when i well when i last got my bloods done when i was pescatarian i was less healthy than i am now so yeah. it's all good right we're gonna uh, be arriving soon and then we're gonna be heading off on the run yep just under 4k in it's been a bit hilly so far but i'm already overheating so it's weird like you start off the run thinking you're never going to be able to warm up but if you've got the right gear it happens within minutes so i'm going to take this off and probably these as well because it is hot not really but i am path ever thought it was a chance to answer some of your questions whilst running into other runners and puddles and dogs and bikes and children <laughs> speaking of one of your questions was how do you get out on long runs when you don't have anyone to go with i'm probably not the best person to answer this because i rarely go on a long run without anyone else because i do get too bored sometimes i do i tend to listen to podcasts and that kind of stuff so it feels like i'm having a conversation with someone even if it's in my own head well it's nearly got run over to catch up with Fian and ask for his advice how to go on long runs without anyone else and not die of boredom um 
Well, I pretty much only ran by myself up until very recently when I found someone to run with me. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it was kind of the opposite. I liked going out on long runs by myself because it gives you time to think, clear your mind, de-stress from whatever you've been doing all day. And actually, I don't think enough people can spend time by themselves in today's society. I think actually a lot of people might find it refreshing to go off and do things like this by themselves and have a chance to uh, unwind, yeah. switch off from social media um, and generally push yourself. But failing that, podcast yeah. or music. Yeah, um, I think um, a lot of people think it'll be awful to be running by themselves without any things to distract their mind. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa! Um, but sometimes that's exactly what you need is like no distractions to have a bit of a break. And it can get dull, but your mind get, gets used to it. I used to not be able to do 5k without someone else because my brain would just get so bored. But with a bit of practice, that, that distance goes up and up and up and it gets easier. So yeah, practice, podcast, music, and let your thoughts wander. We are around 9k in. I think I'm a little bit tired actually. I don't know why. My legs feel like lead. Not really done any runs this week, so maybe I'm just stiff. Anyway, I was just thinking last time I came down this path, I was training for Tokyo Marathon. It was my 15 mile run, I think. And it was so tough. Um, I don't know if it's much easier this time actually. I don't think it is. Running will always be tough to me, but I think it's quite cool to see improvements, even if they're minuscule. And it's quite cool to be run, to be able to run somewhere that it would even take a long time to drive. I like that idea. For any cricket fans, we are not running that far. How do you feel? Yeah, not too bad actually. Yeah? Up How far have we gone? We are 11.8k in and an hour 45 seconds. Not bad. Yeah. It's a nice day. Look at that sunshine. Now this is proper cross country. It is uh, muddy as hell. Pretty slippery, <laughs> but very pretty. And I guess that's all that matters. Not a bad place to stop, a few K before the end. How are you feeling? Yeah, surviving. <laughs> just, just about. We've done just uh, about 17 K so far. And just gotta get across there and over there. And then we're done. <laughs> Which I'm delighted about personally. Are you happy about that? Yeah, got about 5K to go I reckon. There'll be no more hills. Fian is a big fat liar. <laughs> this is definitely a hill. Last little bit. <sighs> about 500 meters to go. <sighs> Done just about 21k so far. And oh my god, I'm tired. But such a beautiful day. And that is what you get 
for mud runs. Mud. Oh, can't stand up right. Mud everywhere. But we made it. Alrighty, we're done. 21.84k in two hours and eight minutes. I only stopped the clock once, so that's not a bad pace. Pretty happy with that. How do you feel, Fee? A little tired, not too bad. My legs started to uh, give way a little bit at the end. Yeah, that's one thing. Like, rather than lungs, it's always some sort of muscle or yeah. joint strain or pain. Yeah, like uh, leg day in the gym two days ago. Oh, three days ago, so. always. Always a mistake. Mm, yeah. That's one problem with um, doing gym gymming and running is that sometimes you feel like absolutely broken for your run but I guess running on tired legs is good practice for longer races and that is Fian's second longest run ever it's definitely up there with mine as well this was like the longest of a couple of my training runs for Tokyo and the fact that we're just doing that on a kind of semi-casual Sunday not bad I feel quite happy with that which is just as well because we'll be doing a lot more of it <laughs> in the months to come at um, one of the run events that I hosted recently um, a lot of people were asking about how do you so obviously why is it so bright obviously going to the gym is important even as a runner uh, more and more evidence suggests that like if you have a strong muscular base then you'll be able to have more effective training and get injured less and all that kind of stuff um, and of course strong legs is important for a good sprint finish but having said that as as we were just saying like when you do leg day and then you try and run the next day it's definitely not a good idea um, it's okay to run with minor doms it is actually a good way of stretching out your legs so if you're gonna do a 5k or something or a 6k it can be one of your um, slower runs the day after leg day or something just to stretch out your legs I know Fian would probably disagree with me there because <laughs> yeah. his leg day is a little bit more intense than mine what do you do to make sure that when you're gymming and when you're running they're not like conflicting with each other um, I haven't found a balance the only way <laughs> at least you're honest yeah well the only way I can get it to work is if I don't do a leg day within five days of a long run but as in a long run you know sort of above 12k yeah. Short runs, not so bad, and it does stretch it out a bit. But when you do a long run, stretching out for me isn't a thing. It's just the muscular pain will get worse and worse over a long yeah. run distance. So I have to make sure I don't have major doms before I start. But yeah. that's me, and I'm older and frailer. <laughs> not really. Um, one thing I have found as well, though, is that training on tired legs and then racing on fresh legs does make the races seem a whole lot easier. So like Fee did, uh, what, we, what we did a race the other day, it was Kalani when Fian had for once not done a leg day in the last five days. And he was like, oh my God, it's so much easier when you don't feel like your legs are gonna fall off. Uh, so um, yeah, even if you train on Domsy legs, as long as you don't feel like you're going to injure yourself, uh, I've heard that it is fine, but if you feel like you're gonna injure yourself, obviously don't do it. Um, and then also if you're going to do a leg day, just plan out when you're gonna do your runs and then plan your gym workouts around that. Uh, so for example, if you're going to do a long run on Sunday, make sure that your leg day is Wednesday or before, something like that, um, so that you know, well, so that you're not taken by surprise when you're trying to do a long run and your legs feel uh, like planks of wood. <sighs> back home and very happy about it. Gonna go and have a shower now to heat up. For some reason I cool down so quickly after a long run and I'm absolutely freezing. Hence wearing Fian's jumper, which is wonderful. I really like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it and that we answered some of your questions. As per usual, go and check out my Instagram where I have a lot more running content and all that kind of stuff um and if you have more running questions i've done plenty of these vlogs before so they might have been answered in those and i'll link those down below if you did enjoy this please do give it a thumbs up and um i hope to see you on the next one thanks for watching bye <laughs>